Every year we get amazing games from the biggest series and newest franchises. But there are also many developers working their asses off on a project that will never be released. Some of these console games are from major franchises. Others are projects with lots of potential that just got cut for all kinds of reasons. In this video we want to take a look at 10 huge game cancellations that really bummed us out. Every hero must be tested. Every legend earned. Fable Legends was all about four players teaming up as heroes to fight the player-controlled overlord. The bad guy would place traps that the heroes needed to overcome. In the end, Fable Legends had not much to do with the beloved Fable series. Microsoft ran a few beta tests for the game but pulled the plug in April 2016. The last game in the series is the terrible spin-off Fable The Journey from 2012. And for the last real Fable game we need to go back to Fable 3 from 2010. We're afraid the series will stay dormant forever. <laughs> Around 2007, Electronic Arts approached Arcane Studios to work with Steven Spielberg on a new game with the codename Project LMNO. You might know Arcane Studios as the creators of the Dishonored series and the upcoming Prey game. The studio worked for two years on something that was a major investment for Electronic Arts. But then a recession hit the Western world. Investors were less likely to put money in risky game projects and therefore Project LMNO was cancelled. We will always have the Steven Spielberg created boom blocks though. Before Arcane Studios became the game's studio to work on a new Prey game, Human Head Studios was working on a sequel to the first Prey. There were different studios working on the game and the entire essence of the game changed at one point. Ultimately, Bethesda wanted Prey 2 to become an open world action game in which you're a bounty hunter on an alien planet who is slowly regaining his memory. After almost eight years of development, Prey 2 was formally cancelled in October 2014. It sure was a different game from the Prey we're all about to experience this year. When the forest burns along the road. Capture device enabled. No, no, wait! I paid double! Hey, tough guy. What's with the loner crap? Oh. It's done when it's done is the slogan Blizzard Entertainment is known for. The company cancelled Warcraft Adventures because the point-and-click adventure genre no longer was popular when the game was almost finished. The same happened with StarCraft Ghost. This third-person stealth shooter about Nova was built upon the success of Metal Gear and Splinter Cell. After four years and some studio switches, the game was put on hold in 2006 and officially cancelled in 2014. Once upon a time, Nintendo was working on a direct sequel to Star Fox. And just like its predecessor, Star Fox 2 was meant to be released on the Super Nintendo. However, by the time the game was finished, Nintendo preferred to push it to the new Nintendo 64 console. The company wanted to release a new 3D Star Fox game on the new console and didn't want to release a 3D Star Fox game on the much older and weaker Super Nintendo. Therefore, Star Fox 2 was cancelled. Elements from the game were copied into Star Fox 64 and so Star Fox 2 became Miyamoto's only project that was ever cancelled. Ever play chess, General? Or, um... <laughs> do you want to play video games? 
The Command and Conquer series is one of the biggest symbols of the success of PC strategy games in the 90s. New revenue models and the rise of the MOBA genre made things difficult for later games in the series. Command and Conquer Generals 2 was literally the nail in the coffin for the series. During its development, it was repurposed to a free-to-play game with a paid campaign for each of the three factions. I'll be done with you in time for lunch. The more toxins, the better. However, Electronic Arts cancelled the game on October 29, 2013, due to the negative fan feedback over the game's economy-based multiplayer experience. We haven't heard about Command and Conquer ever since. You can hear them from the mosque shouting to each other, you know, let the Americans come in, we're not afraid. And they're in the train station, and we're supposed to take that, and it's pitch black. Six Days in Fallujah was a third-person shooter that took place during the second battle for the Iraqi city Fallujah. It was built on the idea of unpredictability, as you would never know when an insurgent would pop up and try to take you down. The game was announced just five years after the actual battle took place. It caused lots of controversy and Konami decided it didn't want anything to do with it anymore. Game studio Atomic Games couldn't sell the idea to any other publisher, and Six Days in Fallujah got put to bed for good. The developer never officially announced the cancellation, weirdly enough. In the video game, you're not just watching, but you're actually experiencing the battle uh, as if you were there. Cargo lane cleared for descent to level 1313. Catch a deep breath. It'll be the last fresh air you'll get for a while. Fresh air is overrated. The cancellation of Star Wars 1313 is a very tragic one that happened when Disney bought Lucasfilm and LucasArts. Rather than force and lightsaber mechanics, this game was built around bounty hunters. You would have to shoot, climb and fight in a dark underground universe. You needed to take out your targets and achieve your objectives. Watch it. The game was officially revealed in June 2012, but put on hold one year later after the takeover. Disney abandoned the Star Wars 1313 trademark in 2014, and that officially meant the game was cancelled. It could have been awesome, but it just wasn't meant to be. Time to tilt things back in our favor. The escape pod? What are you doing? This guy's taking the express. One of the most dramatic cancellations in recent history has to be the one of Silent Hills, a new game in the Silent Hills series with lots of focus on atmosphere and with the help of Guillermo del Toro and Norman Reedus. It seemed like a dream come true, but it became a nightmare. Kojima stopped working with Konami after the completion of Metal Gear Solid V, The Phantom Pain, and it all went downhill from there. The potential was there, but in the end, it was cold hard business that got the game cancelled. Silent Hills is no more, and now Kojima, Del Toro and Reedus are working on Death Stranding, without Konami. Oh yeah? Well maybe you should hide behind me. <laughs> when Microsoft announced a cooperation with Platinum Games for an action RPG on Xbox One, everybody was excited. Scalebound was going to bring something new to the RPG genre and allow online co-op action against giant monsters. On top of all that, you'd be fighting alongside dragons. But in the end, things were not meant to be. Wonderful. With continuing issues surrounding the game's engine and overdue deadlines, Microsoft eventually parted ways with Platinum Games. In January 2017, Microsoft officially announced the cancellation of Scalebound. Guests will never go on awesome adventures with their headphone-wearing Drew and his cool-looking dragon Thuban. 
Which of these cancellations bummed you out the most? Let us know in the comments. You can also follow us on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. And of course, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Was that really necessary?